What up? It's Northern Scripture. And today, we're going to test some lures. See what's good. And hopefully we'll get some luck doing the peak run with the resident swans. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, those swans. So we're going to do the peak run. Oh, a little display of affection. And there's the peak. So we'll walk out that. It's on the north side. And then I'll round around to the south side. And the sun's coming up. <laughs> and apparently the moon's coming up too. No doubt, no doubt. All right, so it's time to get things popping. Up at the peak, facing north. And we'll get this on. Alrighty, so we're starting off with about a number four with orange beads, brass blade, with a little bit of red and black. Good colors, good colors. So off the peak here, I have caught a few pikes. Not so many bass, but the water's a little deeper, a lot of weeds though, closer to the shore. So I always like to drop once uh, the lure hits the water, I get a quick pull right away. Make sure that it stays close to the surface so that I can slowly adjust the speed to the depth that I want to be pulling at in certain locations. Oh, there's a fish jumping. Probably a resident carp. Lots of those down here. And I'm not using any braided line or anything special. It's actually a light line. It's only eight pound test with a seven foot rod. Medium action. Uh, it's just a general size I use for the general weights of my lures. So nothing doing. Been up here for a while now. I don't know, about 45 minutes. No bites, lots of fish jumping though. Sun's up a little more. It's almost about time that I uh, will round around the bend now. Start kicking the south side. Oh man, I can't believe I've been standing here for 45 minutes and I haven't seen this huge pile of brown sugar and corn. Are you serious? What? Brown sugar and corn, like, come on. Good God, there's a fish jumping. Looking for some brown sugar and corn. I ain't got none of that action. Oh, I'm gonna finish off on the north side. I also worked straight out here and nothing doing but some weeds. So I think it's about time I change the lure and round around the bend and start targeting some bass. All right, so this is the lure I started off with in the morning. I used it all morning. I can't say I've had too much success with it, so that's why I've been trying to put in work, but I'm going to pick something off of here, and I'm thinking it's going to be the one I made for myself. I always like to have a good selection with me so that when I am promoting myself, I can have some product with me to maybe even sell or just entice people to visit my page. So this will be the one, the one I made for myself. So I'll be testing that out. We'll round around the bend to the south side. We'll see what's doing. All right, I have to say, she uh, looks pretty good. I'm excited. Hasn't gotten wet yet. So, without further ado, let's get that thing wet. All right, so, unfortunately, I ran into some people around this bend and as we were shooting the shit and talking, I had stopped recording, but can never stop fishing. So I hooked this in the middle of having a conversation with a guy. And then I kindly asked him if he knew how to operate a camera and if he could document this for me, which didn't prove possible. No offense, but homie, you do didn't know what you were doing. So I was forced to pretty much talk over this footage because all I can hear is him in the background. 
But it took me forever to unhook this fish because it's got all these scabs and open wounds on the tail there, around the mouth, on the side, on the bottom and the center. That's not doing, that's not doing. So I kind of didn't want to touch that fish too much. But I caught it right off of this branch that was falling in the water. Very classic. I'm sure it was just bobbing around there at the end. So a quick pull right after casting not too far out and she hooked right on. Now I'm going to walk along this edge and see what I can do. All right. So I'm finally by myself. So I'm peace and quiet. Putting in the work, putting in the work. I'm really excited that I have caught a fish on this lure. At the same time, I'm extremely disappointed that I couldn't get some good footage of it happening. It's almost like it was destined to be this way. But no hard feelings. <laughs> it's all in a fun day's work. So I trolled this edge for quite a while. I've caught some pikes along close to the shore, just walking and trolling the lure. But I eventually give up. The day is getting close to done. So I relocate to the other side and find the good old resident swans putting on a show. So as time passes, they get more and more comfortable and start chilling out with me. That's all good. That's all good. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> but uh, I had a good time. And a little situation unfolded here that I eventually started to notice the communication between these two. And head movement and tail movement says a lot. You can see here the display with the wings is definitely saying that this guy here, he wants his turn. But this guy, he ain't having none. He ain't having none. So, what do you do? You take it by force. <laughs> or you just creep up and have him wiggle his tail and shimmy off. So, as I shoot the breeze, there's some more people that come by. Time passes again, and this guy gets extremely comfortable and cleaning himself right in front of me. When this happens, I'm looking through the camera, so I'm thinking I've done something. But nah, maybe it's just his homie. Nah, I can't be his homie. Oh shit! Get some, get some! All of a sudden, there's a battle for this spot right in front of me on the rocks. Where, who knows? There's a billion rocks it could have stood on. But more displays of ridiculousness from the res resident swan. Who knows what the hell's going on here? <laughs> and there's always impatience here to try to get on this rock, and you can clearly see there's rock everywhere. So they give up and decide to share the rock, which ain't too bad. Doing some gymnastics. Good balance, not gonna lie. That was a good hold. And by the end, all the fighting's over. Attention is everywhere. I'm chatting with them, and they're cleaning themselves. And then this golden footage pops up, which I can't complain. This kind of made my day. I don't know what was better, catching the bass or sitting in the exact location to catch this angle. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, resident swan action. You know how we do. And with this thorough cleaning, we're going to call it quits. And the next video that will be coming up is going to be a full tutorial on me tying up a bucktail from start to finish. I'm not going to leave out any processes. I'm going to show it all. We're going to do it all together. As requested, I am extremely stoked to do it. The free lure giveaway is still popping. If we can only make it to 100... We'll probably do in the comments some type of voting on the style that I'll be popping off for that lucky winner. So feel free to pop in your suggestions, stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll be hitting the water again soon. How do you do?